Uh, I think it's the 25th. 25th, yeah. So five more days, 24th, 24th. So six more days of um, quarantine. And then I face the inauspicious prospect of the journey home to goodness knows, oh, it's a bit of petrol. To goodness knows what country I'm going to return to, what it's going to be like when I return. Um, and how I'm going to get to Cornwall. But we shall, we shall see. I've got friends in worse states. I've got friends stuck all over the world. Uh, Travellers who, who have no permanent home, haven't been in their home country for over a decade. They're buggered, no one wants them. People have been kicked out everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bad year. Yeah, oh well, look, at least there's a, you can see it. Seaplane. Yeah, there you go. Someone's flying today. Seaplane coming in, but most of my seaplane mates have been, seaplane pilot mates have been, um, been laid off. Because of course when the resorts are shut, half of them have been turned into quarantine centres. Uh, ironically, this is one of the safest places in the world. They're dealing with it incredibly well. No locals yet, 13 cases, no fatalities. But it's in total lockdown. You you can't get from one island to the other. There's still a reasonable amount of life in the route of traffic. But that road, solid most days, just solid buses, cars, bikes, coming in and out, you know, it's hectic. It's, I don't know, I reckon about 5% normal. About 5% normal. Uh, and this is the island next to the airport, so a lot of the staff at the airport uh, live here and airport staff are considered um, essential staff. So, well, boring day. Thought I'd do some painting today, but I haven't. People need to come and sit out here on the balcony a bit more, but the only time I really come out here is to do the film. Thought I'd try and perfect drawing and painting palm trees before I go something to do this week anyway uh, expat trapped overseas uh, not looking forward to the poverty he's going to come home to signing out